guys, welcome back to the channel. So I just wanted to quickly show you my new Barra, which is the Fold and Go by Dower. So this is the actual trolley in its upright position. So got the lovely bait buckets that sit in here. I'll show you up close, there are three little mounts that these your 17 litre ground bait buckets will drop straight in there. We've got a lovely little area here to put some storage goods, bits and pieces, maybe some bait. Um, bags of ground bait. We've got the rest up here for your rod rest bag to go across. We've got these padded 90 degree arms that hold your seat box in place. We've got the high up handles so you're not bent over. Um, and ultimately, this is a really, really good trolley, guys. I've used it today. I'm absolutely over the moon. I've had the Map and the Prestons before. I'm not going to say anything bad about them. They've always been great trolleys. Loved both of mine. Just wanted to try something different because I like the way this all folds down, which I'll show you in a second. So, so guys, let's show you how we get this fold and go barrow down. So buckets out first. This little pin on the side allows this arm section to go back and close down first. I do that last. So, so with that in mind, we're going to do the back wheels first. So pull these lock pins out. So they will just hold in position, so you can then just release the wheels. They fold underneath like that. So that's all done. And then next we're gonna do the back wheels. Only a single lock pin on this side again. Pull it in, pull the wheels under. We're halfway there already, guys. So, at the back here, two red buttons. They're not really buttons, they're just there to just draw your eye where the lock collars are. Lift the lock collars. This framework comes down, just like this. And then at the back here, got the little black pin that comes in, folds in, and there we go, guys. And then you've got this lovely little neoprene strap to put round everything, and that can just hold everything in place, just like that. So just stops all the wheels and that banging around. So that's now that's your fold and go folded. Nice little short, compact barrow, ready to get in your back of your van or your car. So, the reverse, setting it up as quick as this, under the near, neoprene strap, pull the lock handles up, lift the lock collars, just like that. So, back wheels we're going to do first, so lift the back wheels out, locate the locking pin, you'll feel it go in. Does help if you turn it, <laughs> my bad. Lift the um, rear rod breast support and seat box support arms up. Swing the back legs out underneath. Pull these lock pins in, push them in. Make sure you're all secure, we're not going anywhere. Ground bait buckets on. Happy days, Dale. There's those guy. handles, real nice foam grips on them. These are these collars I was on about earlier on. Just show you those, see? And that's what they just these lift up to release the handles back in to the fold down position. These are the quality wheels with the rubber thumbnails. So they say these, you just undo them and the wheels come off. There's your accessory bag. There we go. These are your 90 degree foam seat box securing arms. And these are your retaining strap hooks. So we've got one, two, three, four, and we've got these feet as well just to help the box sit better. And then these little, what I call them, like little two fingers here, here, and here, that is where your ground bolt, the ground bait bowl is gonna sit, which I'll show you in a second. Little accessory brag, another nice touch. It's got some drain holes in there, so if anything's wet, and this has, does all come off with these Velcro straps. These these all undo, guys, so you can give it a right proper wash down. So there's those 90 degree arms with the fun wheels. So these can all be extended. So literally turn this wheel, undo it, and to the width of your box, you can adjust it or put them in closer when you're folding it away. So, and the same for, there's the rod breast arm support, rod breast support arm. That comes in and out, in and out like that, as high as you want it, guys, to match your handle height, as you can see over there. These, are the chrome handle, little pull buttons I was on about earlier. So literally, as you can see, they hold into place and then when they want them to lock in, you just twist it and it pops back in, just like that, guys. So pull it to release. You can then 
fold the wheels underneath and then when you want it in its position when it's upright turn it pops back in and that's the same for this arm as well this does all fold flat as well which I didn't show you unfortunately I apologize on the earlier so this pin here that basically is one of these on each side and this enables this to fold flat as well there we which go, I will guys. show you as well there she is all loaded up